There's a number of different types of uh, lineage paintings. Uh, lineages are extremely important in Himalayan and Tibetan art. Um, they can be uh, the, the main focus of a composition or they can be a secondary subject. And then there are different types of, of lineages. Now, one of the uh, more important of the, of the lineage types is incarnation. And incarnation here actually means the Tibetan word tulku, a tulku lineage. Now, it's important to first understand what is this, uh, this word tulku. Um, well, the tulku itself is a Tibetan word for nirmanakaya, the Sanskrit word nirmanakaya, which means the emanation body of a fully enlightened Buddha. A Buddha has uh, three or four uh, terms for, for uh, a body, uh, parts of a Buddha's body. Uh, and they're all abstract, so don't get all caught up with a physical body. It's all uh, abstract concepts. So that's what tulku is. It's just the translation of the nirmanakaya, emanation body of a fully enlightened Buddha. So we also have a secondary a secondary uh, use of the word, which is a notable Buddhist teacher who is identified as a Buddha uh, or a Bodhisattva like Avalokiteshvara or Manjushri um, or a notable Buddhist teacher who's identified as a deity and they can be recognized as a, as a Tara or a Mahakala or a, uh, any kind of other deity. Then another use of the word tulku is a is for uh, simply a title and an honorific for Buddhist teachers uh, and artists as well, master artists, uh, and and probably others. And this uh, uh, term tulku applied to uh, in an honorary way uh, is applied to individuals that are known as a yangsi. A yangsi is a Tibetan word meaning um, again returning or again born or or returning again. And and this means somebody who has, uh, somebody who is identifiable, um, who has passed away and has been reborn, has come back and then under some such circumstances or, or uh, a notable authority, then that person who has come back is identified as somebody who was previously known. And that term in Tibetan is Yangsi, but very often in, in, um, in uh, Buddhism, you apply the term Tulku. It's an honorific term for a Yangsi. Then this Yangsi, or as they're more commonly known, a Tulku, uh, really needs to have a name, an identifiable name. They have to have a, a monastery, a corporation, which in Tibetan is called a labrang, and um, some type of unique teachings or commentaries. Um, and then also they have to have had some past historical duration, which means either a single previous life or multiple previous lives. And so we know of a number of well, um, really well, there's very well-known uh, uh, tulkus. And, and, and of course, the most famous is the, is the Dalai Lama. Uh, second is probably the Karmapa, then the Panchen Lama. But we have a number of others that also show up in, uh, in art. Um, we have uh, the Desi Sanja Jatso, the regent of the fifth Dalai Lama, the Changkya Rolpe Dorje, uh, Jangong, uh, Jamyon Kensei Wangpo, Jangong Ameshap, Jonang Taranata, Longdo Lama, uh, Shamarpa of the Karmakagyu, uh, Tai Situpa of the Karmakagyu, um, the Kunde Lings, the Tatsak Rinpoches of the Gelug, and then even uh, Wong Dun Yingpo, the uh, famous Saki Treason of the 18th century that was the father of the two palaces, the uh, Droma and the Punsok. So we, we have a lot of, uh, of well-known um, teachers who are regarded as tulkus, and then they are found in uh, painting with all of their previous incarnations uh, depicted as secondary figures, and then uh, a primary teacher, a primary incarnation for whoever that is, it be the Dalai Lama or the Karmapa at the center, depending on when the painting or the mural was uh, commissioned. 
So it's important to understand that there's different types of lineages. There, there's teaching lineages, there's initiation lineages, and there's incarnation lineages. There's, um, um, there's short lineages, condensed, there's medium length lineages, and then there's long lineages. So, so there's a number of different uh, ways that lineages are presented. But this is really more than enough for now. Um, please press the like button. You can also subscribe. It, it helps with uh, searching on our topics and uh, our channel. And you can also help uh, support the work we're doing by joining HAR on Patreon.